Oh my god, you ruined the intro. <laughs> Anyways, hey everybody, it's Jerry here. I apologize for the last video I put out. Um, I understand why it would bother some, but honestly, I was just, I was, I don't know what I was thinking. I was just having fun. Um, in the past, I've done videos on Crash Bandicoot leaks and stuff with All Stars, and y'all, y'all, most of my people already know the, the backstory behind that. And well, I, uh, I just thought it'd be fun to kind of like be ironic about it, I guess. You know, fully acknowledging that it's not real, but pretending it's real in the title. And you, you know how people are on YouTube and stuff, falling for shit. I just thought it'd be funny. Uh, but in terms of the actual topic at hand regarding Crash 2020, um, it, to me it doesn't really come off as a surprise, considering the fact that Dan Tangaway, the person who directed Insane Trilogy, was working on a new project in Secrecy for one, and two, the whole, uh, even though it's kind of stupid that it occurred, the Toys for Bob incident that occurred, as well as uh, uh, the mask, the mask thing that happened with uh, uh, the, the PlayStation ad and stuff. So I mean, it is it all it, it is inevitably piecing up together. This is kind of no different from my PS4 evidence video where I'm piecing things together. Except you know everybody and their mamas are talking about it now, and I'm kind of surprised that people still even care that I'm even talking about this series in the first place. I still like Crash. I'm just not super duper heavily invested into it uh as i want to be because i've been desensitized of it due to the fan base as well as um you know what's going on with nitro fuel and everything but that's irrelevant to what the, 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 the core topic at hand here i'm actually in the in a discord call uh with skips my friend menace uh goofball uh, my friend mega bionic man slash deontay and my friend Jabberhawk, and we were briefly discussing the body and this stuff, and we were wondering, you know, the, the main concern is whether or not it will be a follow-up to this game, or if it will be a soft reboot, or if it will be a reboot, or if it'll just, yeah, or if it'll just be a sequel. Now, a lot of people try to write Mind of Mutant slash Titans, you know, the radical games, excluding Tag Team. Uh, they try to disclude these games out, e even though they're they're, they're clearly, you know, still resource material, and the fact that they're even acknowledged in Nitro Food, which is primarily a Naughty Dog and Vicarious Visions Crash game, you know, uh, they, they, they still care. Um, I also heard briefly about, like, what, Crash and Smash and shit, and, like, uh, I keep telling people that, like, the company, like, Sakurai and Gang, his team are gonna look at the title, uh, not titles, all the titles uh, for Crash Bandicoot and try to add as much detail uh, as possible when it comes to the character and the franchise as appropriately as possible. And, uh, oh, don't touch my yeah, I don't really have much else to say. What do y'all think? Let's try to make this brief because I don't want this video being 20 minutes long. Uh -huh. Skips, you go first, and Menace, you go second. Goof, if you want to say anything, you go third, Jab, and Deontay, y'all can go. What, just talking about the new game yeah. in general? Yeah, like, what are y'all Yeah. Um, personally, I think what they would want to do is that, um, I think it's going to be like what you described it, like what it was, um, like either like a reboot, or like, they're going to try to like continue off from Mind Over Mirror in a way. So, I'm very curious to see like what they actually plan on doing with the game. Like, if they are going to make it a soft reboot, I wonder if it's going to be... It's gonna feel like it takes place during, like, say, like the Naughty Dog trilogy, like maybe like after three, and like rather Cortex didn't happen. Oh my fucking god! Wow, bro, there are people that actually are like expecting that or wanting that, like that something would... like that. That's what I mean, like something. I think it feels like some people are wanting like a game that that takes place like after three, but it's not rather Cortex in a way, like in a soft reboot like that. So if it wreck, you know, people need to understand if that shit retcons Wrath of Cortex, that means Crunch is out of the picture. Unless if they add, they add Crunch in their own way or something. Unless if this new game is like a spiritual successor to Wrath of Cortex, or like it's a tribute to it or something, and they reintroduce Crunch in a way or something. I don't know. You know, Coco just said it herself, bro. That makes no sense. <laughs> but nah, that timing. Um, that's. I don't know how to feel about that, but I can understand why I guess some people would think of it, but honestly, that's just nitpicking at best. Oh my fucking goodness. There we go. But yeah, um, is that all you have to say? Or what? 
I feel like it'd be cool, like, if it was taking place after Mind of the Unit, given that, like, we saw, like, that mask in the PlayStation 4 trailer, and there's yeah. already people thinking about theories of, like, what the mask could potentially be. Maybe it's related to... Maybe it's, like, a, a mom mask for Uka Uka and Aku Aku in a way, or maybe something like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm very curious to see, like, what new characters these guys who create for the Crash Bandicoot series. So I'm gonna see, like, what they do with it. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to talk about, like, uh, Crash and Smash or something like that? Nah, like, 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 nah, like that? let's not drag right. that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Menace, you got anything to say? Personally, I don't know what to expect at this point. No. I can't really say what my expectations are. Actually, what if I'm the same, but they just have to just make a new contest. Like, make something new besides just using, like, all of the, you know, using the previous shit. You know. I think it's obvious that they'll do something new. It's just a, it's just Otherwise, a matter yeah. of like if it's gonna be quality or not. And we we need like a, like after insane and nitro fuel combined, that shit cannot be covered in greed or have any suspicious business acts behind it. Otherwise, Crash is gonna end up probably like Tony Hawk and the car oh, franchise, God. which is gonna suck ass. That's why people need to be cautious. When being optimistic when it comes to Crash Bandicoot, because he's owned by Activision, people need to remember that shit. Yep. And people used to slander them for not doing anything with Crash years ago when he was dead, when they were focusing on other properties. But now it's the other way around, uh, when, where Crash is one one of the most successful franchises for that company. And yep. we can't have like this franchise becoming uh, basically what. I came to be a f <laughs> this fucking dick the cutscene distracted me but yeah uh we yeah. can't i don't i wouldn't want the franchise to have um a repeated history of other ips that they owned and shit like that also uh shout out to sabi uh sabi the what, what was their name on twitter i forgot her name her name is uh sabi wasabi yeah yeah sabi wasabi thank you for uh uh, the insider info, even though I found out later. Oh, we're gonna link you to those again. Yeah, I'm gonna put her in the description and shit like that. Yep. Yo, this game is beautiful, son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the crashes anteater nose. She'll be on the outs with Cortex after all. Wouldn't be that long, got, okay? He got cankles in that game. You got what? Man, whatever. He got three. He got tree trunk ankles in that game. <laughs> Wait, who? Crash. Oh god, this guy. All right. You can now play as Coco. Yeah. You can actually play as Coco. Yeah, I can. Game? Yeah, I can play as. Oh Coco. really? I didn't know that. Yep. Uh, I gotta enable the second controller real quick. And I know if I do that and I press. Uh, wait. Oh, I'm trying to remember. I don't want this video to really drag for real, but. Um, I know there's a certain way for me to do this shit. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, so what I do is I go to controllers and then I disable my first kit. Oh, yikes. Hold on. Let's not do that. Okay. Oh, drop out. There we go. That's what I got to do. Drop out. Bam. There she is. Oh, interesting. Yep, it's really cool. She's really fun to play. But, um, yeah, guys, um, I honestly am not that surprised you know it, when this is gonna happen it's not an if anymore at this point um i appreciate each and every one of you for still like wanting to watch my uh content and whatnot when it comes to this franchise um i just hope for the best for the franchise honestly because uh if something happens like to the point where i get really like i don't know just uninterested or like none trustworthy that's gonna be pretty disappointing not gonna lie all right i'm controlling two characters or one rather am i stuck yep i'm stuck yep that glitch will tend to happen oh, shit. yeah that that tends to happen sometimes when uh you play as coco or whatever it, 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 messes it hit up. you with the elmer's glue glitch yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah bro yeah 
But, um, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts. Not really too surprised about it, and I don't know. I, I just hope for the best, and I hope that uh, this uh, and Titans can get some acknowledgement, or, you know, they the Radical Era can get acknowledged, or they can continue off of it. Because a lot of people are under the idea that it'll, like if there's a sequel, it'll play exactly like these games. No, it won't. It doesn't have to. If it could continue the narrative, then I see no problem with it, because even while Twin Sanity wasn't uh, that innovative in my opinion, and it wasn't open world, the levels were just open-ended, the gameplay was, was still somewhat different from the originals, yet the narrative continued in a different way. And the same thing can happen with this next game after Mind of Mew and then Titans. So I don't understand why people are so... I mean, I under I know why people are like, anim like they, they're, an they're, uh... They loathe these games, but I don't really see it as a big deal because it's still a crash game at the end of the day. And yeah. that's all I'm gonna say. So, uh, if you don't, uh, if you if you don't care, then just leave. Or if you disagree, then that's fine. Just don't be a punk about it. And I hope you enjoy my insight on this and my friend Skips's insight and Menace's little. Uh, well, he didn't really have insight, but you, you get what I mean. Yes, I'm sorry. You know yes. what? Whether the game is hot or whether it's a hot mess, it's gonna be crash. Yeah. And that. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's true. That's and that's basically it. Hey, yo, goof, you got anything to say? Well, about the crash series? Yeah, bro. Well, I don't really care about the story and all. Uh -huh. I just really want a really good game. I'd prefer if they didn't do like a uh, a warp room thing. Yeah. Just a little more open world, but I don't care. As long as it's just good. I went, I okay. So for me personally, like with, with with Square Eye Jack, like they could do the warp room thing. But if the levels aren't linear, if they're open ended levels, I respect that. If the game is truly open world, like on some Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy or Crash Mountain Mutant, Mutant type shit, then I'll be fine with it. Mm -hmm. As long as it's not that linear hallway bullshit, I uh, I don't know about that shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, that shit needs to go. <laughs> but yeah, I'm tired of going back and forth in this stupid title screen and this low new game credits information bullshit. So yeah, bye, goodbye, say bye y'all, say bye. 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 I, I have a question. Wait, you said you have, you have a question. question. It's very what? important. What? Mm -hmm. Um, can I uh, can I shout out my channel? I only got like 24 subscribers. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. Oh my goodness.